Hello, wonderful person. Hello, wonderful person. Well, we have finally got our hands on these two tanks, the Sheridan and the T... 92E1. 92E1. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're good. Um, as you would have seen from other uh, channels. Uh, I, so I just wanted to share my own impressions of these um, tanks initially. Um, and the thing that jumps out at me is that it's really hard, certainly seems to me, to be really hard to land these rocket shots. These guided missiles. Um, I'm playing against some fairly busy Russians, uh, like there's people from all over, it's on a Russian server, but so playing some pretty four games. You played in some 7v7 games, I think, didn't you? No, I didn't or, get any 7v7 games. Well, the most six, I got was like 6 versus 5. 6 versus 5. But yeah, it's, it's, it's enough on there to give you an idea. And I, my thought was that some of them were landing shots, the really good shots, and a lot of them were just shooting and missing uh, and I I certainly couldn't get the hang of it but then I was on an iPad and I've not played on an iPad in years and I really I find it really hard to control now um, the, so this is this is my standout thought from it personally and that is really good players are gonna be really good and bad players are gonna really suck hard on and it's gonna just be one of them tanks um, you know I, I don't what was your thoughts I mean, I think they're both very good tanks, but I think the Sheridan is better. Yeah. But in terms of the whole guided missile, it is really hard to control. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on the PC client for it so I can see what that's like, because that's obviously where the big change was. Um, so we'll have to see how that works. But um, I think the other standout thing is the APCR does the same damage as the heat. Yeah, and so if, you, if, you if, if you're struggling with the heat, you can always just use a bit of APCR every now and then. Yeah, so the APCR, obviously it's got high velocity, it's, it's pretty reliable. It's quite um, accurate as well. Quite accurate. So in that regard, these will be quite good light tanks anyway. Yeah, I um, mean, especially when it comes to tier 10 stuff, like a tier 10 T49A. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, the damage per minute is 2,494. Um, so that's all right. We'll, by the way, we'll see these in the next patch on 6.7, um, which is what we're testing here. There's a whole bunch of other changes, but I'm not going to cover those in this video. Um, but I just think it's, it's, it's important to note that the rocket side of it is literally hit and miss. And <laughs> I mean, it, it's more probably more miss than hit. It, it, it's going to take a lot of practice. If you're an average player like me... I don't know what he was doing, but I guess he was trying to trick shot the other guy on my team. Yeah. If you're an average player like me, you might... It might. I mean, I, I need to see what it's like with the mouse and keyboard. There's no auto lock anymore. We know that. Um, I've seen some people on some uh, leaked videos doing some incredible things with them, though. So it's going to be hard, it's going to, be hard to tell. Um, mm. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, the penetration for the heat, and the rockets are only on heat, is, is insanely high, isn't it? Hmm. It's like... Um, it's 300. It's like yeah. 300 and something. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. It's the, amazing. It, it's 340 penetration on your, on your heat missile. guided missile shots. That goes through almost anything, um, apart from the front of the heaviest... Something like an E3. You but you can you, you can go through the lower plate, no problem. Lower plate, you, or probably even the edge of the... You always hit the lower plate as long as you aim at it. Yeah. Because there's no, like, rectical for this tank, because it's guided. Yeah. You always hit where you're aiming. Not like it's going to, like, RNG's going to mess you up, because RNG doesn't live on this side of a tank. No. Unless you use APCR. But, um, looking at a mouse, you can just go through the lower plate of a mouse. Yeah. You can go through the cheeks of a mouse. Do you think you could get a shot through on that though, with its move if it's moving? Could you guide the shot into those weak spots, maybe? Well, I mean, I think you'd have to use the guided missile to hit a shot like that because it'd be easy just to hit. He'll the side, be moving. It? You can. It, he'll be moving, getting the speed the gun missile travels it'll probably end up hitting i mean instead of trying shots like that you'd be better off trying to hit the top of it where the armor's thin or you Cap don't even need off. to worry about the you don't even need to worry about the armor too much do you could just hit the side of a turret or the side of the tank with something like that much pen um see so yeah, it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit of a funny one in, in my view um 
the the penetration on the APCR is is uh, where are it's we? It's probably still quite high. Yeah, it's two forty on the APCR. So, so it's not yeah, that is still really good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. To say that's standard, that's the standard shell. I mean, it's a big leap in penetration for the guided missile. Yeah. To a hundred pen extra. Yeah, ten degrees of gun depression and traverse is at forty, almost forty-four degrees. So that's all good. Um, talking of that, the um. Tier 9 version, which we've got coming up. Bob, yes, by the way, as you pointed out, those shells are really expensive. They are incredibly expensive. When we were playing this, we were losing credits tons. Yeah, you're going to lose serious amounts of credits. If you take them shots and miss with your rockets, you're going to lose some serious credits. Now, um, this is the slightly more, well, cross between two tanks, really. Yeah. This is basically... If you get a T seventy one and a T forty nine A and put them together, yeah, okay, that's basically what this is. Yeah, okay, look at that. I mean, it's that's... got the same sort of play style. So your your uh, DPM on this is two thousand one hundred, and you get the same two hundred and forty on APCR and three hundred and forty on heat uh, penetration values, which is just unnecessarily high, really. Yeah, I mean um, for tier nine, if you get a tier eight game in this then you've basically it's just basically unfair yeah yeah well i'd like i'd just do a bit more testing to see how far the rocket goes but yeah. you're going to need to get into a training room with it and it, it, i don't know anyone else well i know other people who have got test account but um to be fair the, the, for the amount of time it's available probably not going to have time especially this time of year to go on test account with them but um, but they, I think they're going to be interesting, but they're definitely going to be one of them tanks where you're going to be raging at people because they're firing nothing but rockets and doing next to no damage and, you know, yeah, it's, it's mean, going to drive you crazy. And then if be you some... can't land those heat, these guided missiles, and if you're all about those trick shots, yeah, it, I mean, you're better off going in a training room first, but if you don't want to do that, then just use APCR. I think with the tier nine especially, you're almost better off just using it as a regular just tank. Just play it as a T forty nine. Just just play it as uh with use your APCR and just use it as a regular tank. Forget the guided uh, missile if you can't use it. I think just, that's the better option. Just honestly. be a T forty nine. Yeah. But if you can use the guided missile, go ahead. Yeah, for sure. I mean maybe less able players if they get this tank they'll go for it any we'll go for that that type of thing anyway i'm but. guessing that when these actually do come out the the servers will do the games and will just be flooded with t92 <laughs> ones and sheridan yeah and well if you haven't spent all your experience on the uh, christmas shop trying to open stages to get a snow globe then i think 50K. a lot of people will have the experience just to get these straight away anyway we've probably got the experience for it um, i bet wargaming make the exp needed for the tier 10 one like 400 or something really dark. Yeah, what was it when we were researching get on the test? It was like... Oh, I don't know, I didn't see actually, I should have looked. But um, what I, I remembered we started off with like 2 million or something. Yeah. And then um, we went from tier 1 to tier 10 and it took about 700,000 off. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's it for now. We will be back with a word on the Chinu Kai, which I'm very cross about. Yeah, uh, we'll see you in a bit. Quid. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye.